Friends of Jesus, as we wrap up this month of May that is dedicated in our Catholic Christian tradition to the Mother of God, Mary, Theotokos, on the last day of May is actually the feast day of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. That would be the time when Mary actually, after she gets the message from Archangel Gabriel on the Feast of the Annunciation, she actually goes in haste to the hill country to visit her co cousin Elizabeth, who's also pregnant. And as we know, Elizabeth, her cousin, is pregnant with John the Baptist. John the Baptist, who later on will actually prepare the way for the Lord. So Mary in Nazareth, as she's in Nazareth, she has the visitation of Archangel Gabriel, who comes and announces to her that she has been chosen by God to be the mother of God. And following that, yes, let it be done to me according to your word, Archangel Gabriel also lets her know that her cousin in her, in her old age is also pregnant with John the Baptist. So Mary actually then goes to visit her and spend some time with her, with Elizabeth. The story is beautiful in the Gospel of Luke because we hear first the account of Archangel Gabriel and that conversation with Mary. And then we actually hear actually as Mary goes to see her cousin, Elizabeth, and then as two of them meet, Elizabeth says to Mary, as soon as I heard your voice, the child in my womb leapt for joy. That is to say, John the Baptist recognizes that Mary is the mother of God. And the child that is in Mary's womb is none other but God's son, Jesus Christ. How do we know that? Listen to the words of Elizabeth to Mary. They're actually found in our prayer that we say, that we pray, Hail Mary. She says to her, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. We say it in Old English version. Listen to the prayer. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. That first introduction, introductory part of the prayer of Hail Mary is, are actually the words that Archangel Gabriel says to Mary. And then when he actually shares that news with her, then she goes to visit her cousin Elizabeth. And then the next section of the words is directly taken also from the Gospel of Luke, the words that, that uh, Elizabeth actually says to Mary. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Those are the words that are being said by Elizabeth to Mary. We actually have put them only from the Bible, from the Gospel of Luke, into that beautiful prayer that we actually pray to Mary. And especially during this month of May, as we have dedicated many, many rosaries, Yes, for peace in the world, for peace in Ukraine, for our families, for our schools, for our communities, for the poor, for the widows, for the orphans, for those that are in need, for the vulnerable. Let us remember to continue and always turn to Mary. And especially on that last day of the month of May, May 31st, as we will celebrate the feast of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary when she goes to visit her cousin, Elizabeth. And we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And may the blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace and love for all of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.